it's hit hard. There we go. Wow. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today we are checking out this protective safe for many different applications, including for your precious metals, for money, for jewelry, and so much more. So this comes nice and safe, protected inside the box. It comes with your accessories, your keys and locks. So this, this is it. So it's not overly heavy, which makes it great for carrying around or moving from place to place, but it's also solid enough that if someone does try and break into it, they're going to have quite a hard time of doing so. So you have a couple options here. You can flip this open for the second keyhole. Two keyholes. Also have a manual. I mean, all, well, yeah, manual. If you want to put in a key code. So you can also do that. So what we're going to go ahead and do is line up both keys in here. So let's see. There we go. So you need to turn the one key and then the next key. So what's nice about this is inside here, you can put different keys on here. So very nice key holder. So let's take a look inside the safe. So inside the safe, you have this nice little tray for putting stuff up top, and then you have your bottom tray. It's a decent size room with inside here, so you can fill it up a decent amount. Now, there are a couple options. So you guys can see the two bolt holes in the bottom. That allows you to mount it to your wall, or if you wanna have your safe upright like this, you can also do that and mount it to the floor. I personally recommend mounting it to the floor um, if you do mount it to the wall, you want to try and find studs in your wall uh, to make it harder to rip out. But I've come to notice that doing it to your floor is better. But if you're doing it to your floor, obviously you want it at a place that uh, it's, you know, probably going to be permanent. So if you do decide to go onto the floor, this tray can come out. So you can take this tray out. It just takes a little bit of wiggling and you can pop that tray out and then you can use the floor right here to cover up and stack 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 anything you want so a couple options which is very very nice so let's go ahead and close the lid here so you do have one lock and then twist that and two locks so now you can't just use this one key it won't it will not unlock without the second one being unlocked and if we go ahead and we place this key inside and we lock it you still cannot access without both keys so it makes it extra safe no pun intended of course my friends please check out the manual for the other um, keypads and for setting that up because that is also a option as well so you can electronically set that up so my friends you would go ahead up here place your batteries inside here it looks like it takes one two three four double a batteries so you would place your double a batteries inside there and this other battery pack this is just a uh, emergency battery box so they say do not put this inside your uh, safe so this does not go inside your safe I believe you would use this only for an emergency if this battery happens to die and you don't have your keys or something um, refer to your manual for more information there's a lot of good information in your manual and if you're wondering for your emergency battery box you just plug it in underneath here on the outside so hide that somewhere not inside your safe that wouldn't be a that wouldn't be a smart choice so, so far, I'm very impressed. So for setting your password, once you have your batteries in, there's gonna be a setting button under here. 
and it says press the setting button at the door spindle the yellow indicator light will turn on and you can set any six to eight digit password and press the hashtag to confirm so what you'll do is once your batteries are in you would press this button underneath and then you would enter your uh, pin that you want to set and then press the hashtag key or pound or whatever <laughs> and uh, yeah so we're gonna go ahead and do that so the best way to reset this place your hand underneath here find the button and there we go now you enter your code all right so we now have our code entered um, so I'm gonna press it show you guys what it does so when you push a button so let's just say you enter a wrong one that's what it does All right, we're gonna enter our right one. So it beeps and you can hear it unlock. Let's see. Okay, so you still, you wanna keep this key um, always in. These you wanna hide because um, when you unlock it, so when you put your code in to unlock it, without turning this key then, you can't get access to your safe. So for example, um, if you don't have it electronically set up, you would put this key in, turn it, and then put this key in and turn it and open it up. Well, the electronic just basically bypasses you from using this key. So instead of using this key, putting it in and turning it, and then turning this one, you just turn this one. Yeah, so yeah, so that's what happens. It clicks. So then when you're done and you go and turn it, you can't actually open it back up again then until you enter your password again. So whatever your password is. So yeah, uh, I actually do like that. I think that is a extra safety feature. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide one of these keys. We're gonna keep one key in because if you keep one key in, they can't, you know, if someone comes around, they can't do anything. Unless they know your passcode or they have these keys, they cannot do a single thing. Uh, so yeah, I am very impressed. I like this safe a lot. This is a very nice safe. And I do want to point out there are other features as well, like alarm and all clear. So enter the wrong password multiple times. Uh, it says vibration alarm, press the, press this to enter the alert state. So, if, so will it go off? I wonder if it won't go off until you Okay, enter the correct password to clear it. Continuous wrong password alarm. Okay. Yep, that did the trick. Enter the right password and it stops. So uh, you have to manually enter that state. So you just press the star and that enters that state. Nice.